<laughs> Whole school. I don't like that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, I'm gonna rise to the challenge. I've never used Pythagoras. Why did I need to be finding X? Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Wow, this is new for me. This video is dedicated to getting to know me. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram um, what you want to see from me on YouTube this year. A few people requested um, that I do a get to know me tag and share a little bit more about myself. And I said, okay, I'm gonna rise to the challenge. I accept and let's do it. It's very different speaking to the camera, although I sing to the camera. I've got the questions on my phone, so. I'm going to be answering questions. First question, where did I grow up? I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, baby. So I grew up in Nigeria till I was eight and then I've been here ever since. So most of my life I've actually spent in the UK, but uh, quite a bit of my childhood was in Nigeria. How tall are you? Somewhere around the five eight mark. <laughs> five foot eight? Um, five foot eight and something. I'm not too sure what. I'm not a short girl, I'm not extra tall, I'm above average height. Favourite colour? I actually don't have a favourite colour, um, but I love bright colours. Ooh, what was your favourite and worst subject at school, secondary school to be specific? Um, oh, my favourite was French. I loved French. I still love French. My worst? Physics. Physics and maths are two subjects that I really like a different language. Like who invented them and why do we need them? Why did I need Pythagoras? I've never used Pythagoras. Why did I need to be finding X? I didn't use that at uni. Like, yeah, maths and physics, yeah. Those are my worst subjects. I did well, but I did not enjoy them at all. The next question, what sports do you play or have you played? I don't play a sport right now, but one of my favourite sports that I played at uni and in secondary school was netball. I absolutely loved netball and love it. Goal attack, woo, go shoot it, woo. Um, yeah, I'm a shooter and I just, I love netball. It's the one sport that I just really took to at school. And when I started uni, it was something that I went out of my way to be a part of in my first year because I really enjoyed it. What was the last song you listened to on Spotify? Oh, let's go check. What was the last song I listened to? I was listening to a podcast. I was listening to the To My Sisters podcast by Renee and Courtney. Shout out to them. Song? Let's see. I don't know. Can you check that? Favourite genre of music? So, outside the obvious gospel music. Ooh, I love classical music. I love Alexis French, specifically. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I really enjoy Tiana Major 9. I love her vocals. She is beautiful. Anything that has beautiful vocal harmonies, arrangements, mm -hmm. that's what you find me. Do you speak any languages? Yes, I speak English, I speak French. I speak a little bit of Yoruba, but um, let's, just, let's just skip to the next question. <laughs> I speak it better in my head. And I think that's where it should stay. Mm -hmm. How many siblings? Oh, bear, bear siblings. <laughs> um, I have a lot of siblings. Well, yeah, no, we'll be here all day, but I have a lot. Any pet peeves? I also have a lot of pet peeves. I'm that annoying friend that always notices everyone's pet peeves. Loud chewing, people tapping, when people volunteer you for things without asking you. I don't like that. Tea or coffee? I am a coffee girl, by the way. I love coffee and I really want a coffee machine. Morning or night? I'm not really, I don't like waking up early, but if I have to, I will. I find I'm more productive in the later parts of the day, so I'll say night. He was on flats, flats all the way. I don't have time for discomfort, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> phone call or text? I would say phone call, but when I talk to people on the phone, I'm that person that would be like, oh, can we do a video call? Yeah, I just want to see your face, you know? It just feels more personal. Introvert or extrovert? I'm an extrovert. I love people. I love being around people. I love vibing with people. But I also do value my time alone. And 2020 has really taught me to enjoy and appreciate my time alone. Scary movies or happy endings? I mean, I don't have time for scary movies, I can't lie. Happy endings all the way. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram all the way, Twitter. I 
do I use my Twitter? No. Single or taken? I'm a single Pringle, so a future husband. Yeah, that's all I need to say. They say shoot your shot, right? I don't know if this counts as shoot my shot, but <laughs> Android or Apple? But I did use it for Android and it served me well. But I've come back to Apple and I am sold. I've got MacBook, iPhone, they just work well together. I've got my complaints. I've got two more questions. Name one thing that got you through 2020. Ooh. I have to say my community, my church community. Shout out to Flow Rivers, a Christ-centered community that anchored and helped me was absolutely invaluable. I can't put a price on it and my family. Oh, I learned how much I need my family and how much I need community. And they were there for me. And that really got me through. Final question, name one thing that you're proud of. Ooh. Last year I got my degree. <laughs> so that's one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of and I'm grateful to God for because towards the end, I was looking a bit mad, but God really came through. So something I'm proud of and I'm grateful for. If that's something you guys actually want to hear more about, my degree testimony, like, let me know. Let's dive into it. So let me know in the comments if you would like to know a little bit more about my degree story testimony. Maybe I can make a separate video on that. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and I look forward to making more of these videos in 2021.